Grade 3 Math, Lesson 23, Picture Graphs. Picture graphs use small pictures or symbols to show, compare, or count information. They're a chart with small pictures on them. Let's look at this one. Here's a picture graph. The title tells us what we're counting, how we get to school. Each row here tells us the different ways we travel to school. Walk, bike, go by car, go by bus. At the bottom is a key. The key tells us that each smiley face equals 10 students. That each smiley face represents 10 students. We can count each smiley by skip counting by tens. So let's look at our questions. How many students walk? From looking at this picture graph, how many students would you say walk? Now remember, each smiley face equals 10. So let's skip count by tens. 10, 20, 30. 30 students walk. So let's write that in our, on our line here. How many go by bike? Remember, we're skip counting by tens. 10, 20. 20 children ride their bike. I hope they have a good strong chain and lock to lock it up outside so nobody steals it outside the school in the bike rack. How many go by car? Here's car. Let's skip count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 50 children go by car. Their moms or dads must drive them to school in the morning, huh? How many ride a bus to school? How many ride a school bus? Skip count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 of them go by school bus. How many total? Now we have to count all of them, okay? So we're going to count all of these. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 120, 130, 140. We've counted 140 students and how they get to school with our picture graph. Now it doesn't have to be smiley faces. You could use paw prints if you're counting how many dogs are at a shelter. You could use an X. And it could be for each one, not for each 10. Maybe it's for each five. Maybe it's for each 100. You could use hands. You could use shoes. What if you were counting how many shoes were sold at a store and one shoe equaled 100 shoes? What if you did pizzas? What if a pizza parlor was trying to figure out how many pizzas they sold and they said, let's let each pizza equal 10 that were sold. And then they make a picture graph to figure out how many they sold. So picture graphs can help us keep track of information it can help us compare, compare or count information, and they're pretty useful. I bet you could find some picture graphs somewhere around your school or your house. They're everywhere. I'll see you in the next video.